Hello everyone, and welcome to my first ever playthrough of Stardew Valley. Now, I decided to play this game today because, um, I, well, first of all, it's Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving to everyone celebrating, and second of all, it is it's a more harvesty family friend game feel to it, so I'm figuring, you know, playing on Thanksgiving of all times would work. <sighs> Can I change my shoes now? I don't like that color. <laughs> Hair shirt. <laughs> Alright, so this is the story. Right? And for my very special granddaughter, I want you to have this sealed envelope. Wow. Uh, uh, thanks, Gramps. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Open it like the moment he dies. Now listen close. There will be come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And that day is today. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Yep. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now let Grandpa rest. So many years later, I'm a working at Joja. Hmm? Join us, Bride. There's some people. That desk is empty. There's some some dude with cowboy head, some dude who looks exhausted. Man, they all look exhausted. Hey, that's me! I look exhausted, too! This job sucks. Oh my god. Am I gonna finally get- Yep. There's the letter. Dear Magashi. Magashi. If you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me a long ago. I lost sight of what mattered most in life. Real connections with other people and nature. So, I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I enclosed the deed to the place. My pride and joy. Dekshimer Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, please say hi to an old guy for me, will you? Say hi to the old guy. <laughs> Alright. That's it. All right, I'm I'm gonna go live on a farm now, you guys. I'm gonna be roughing it. I'm gonna be working, I guess. I'm gonna get tired of work, and then I'm gonna go to manual labor. <laughs> All right. You know, the graphics are simple, but it's pretty. I can appreciate it for what it is. It must have took forever to do that pixelated art. So detailed. Stardew Valley, 0 0.5 miles. No, let's not skip anything. I don't want to skip nothing. I want to get the full story. Hello, you must be Morgashi. It's Robin. I like your hair, Robin. I'm Robin. The local carpenter, Mayor Lewis, sent me here so the old guy s is still alive. Good to know. Good to know. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way 
A to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. How this guy knew I was coming? The farm's right over there, here, if you'll follow me. Yeah. Do they have phones in this universe? I don't exactly remember Grandpa leaving me a phone number to this Mayor Lewis guy. How did he know I was coming? This is Dex. This is Jack Schumer Farm. Oh my god. <laughs> my character is as freaked out as I am. What's the matter? Uh, sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's still some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have to clean up in no time. Dedication. Work. Manual labor. Oh my god. <laughs> and here we are. Your new home. Cool. Little log cabin out in the farm. Ah, the new farmer. The old farmer, my grandpa? How long have you guys been without food? You starving or something? Welcome. I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. Who? Uh, I don't know any of these people. Why are they asking about me? <laughs> it's not every day that someone moves in. It's quite a big deal. Oh, okay, okay. Small town, no secrets. I get it, I get it. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Yeah, it looks like a good little house. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Robin, don't start with me. Krusty might be a little more apt, though. Robin. You need to hush, bud. Rude! Yes, yes. I agree with you, Mr. Lewis. Don't listen to her, Magashi. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm probably gonna buy it anyway to progress the game, because I think you have to have, like, a big house in order to get married or something, so I'm gonna want to get married now, don't I? <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. Townspeople would appreciate that. Alright. Oh, she's still tapping her foot. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just play us in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Mayor Lewis, why are you walking on my property at night? That's a little weird. Why does it have to be at night? Again, a little freaking weird, but okay. I guess, small town, no secrets, gotta get used to it. I'm, I'm here now, I'm, I'm all in. Well, good luck. <laughs> Alright, bye. See you around, I guess. We made to my own devices, why don't you? I have never planted anything before in my life. <sighs> Your progress has been saved. Alright, so, I, I, I don't want to, how do I do this? Alright, shift, run. I'm pressing shift, I ain't running nowhere. So, I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna do that. Um, nope, that's not it, nope, that, okay, X, okay, that's, you received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. Hmm. Journal. Getting started. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Hmm. Introductions. Greet 28 people. Ah, 28 people. That's, uh, that's two, one too many people. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> 
I'm not up for meeting and greeting. All right. Oh, jeez. Oh, there's a frog! Frog's so cute. There's another frog. Hey. Parsnips. Parsnips. I've never had a parsnip before. I don't even know what that is. Much. Alright, well, that was fun. Let's go... Oh, cool. Huh. I wonder if I could do anything with any of this stuff. What's in here? Okay, so I can hone my skills. I have a wallet. I thought that's my wallet. I don't know anything. There's all the people I have to go introduce myself to against my will. There's a lonely stone. And... Oh my god. Oh cool, they have a wizard stone? My farm does not look as clean as it does on this map. <laughs> Alright, well. I want to try to get chest, but my energy is low, so what do I do? I guess I could go explore the world. Wait, this can give me more energy. Okay, okay, okay. I see the game you're that I'm playing. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna eat this, and... Tried to get 50 wood. What happens if I use up all my energy? Do I do I die or something? Do I pass out? How much do I got now? Okay, I got 50. Good, cool. Ooh. Oh. You started to feel exhausted. Okay, to my how much I had and how much I have now, I did not. Oh, hey, there's a guy. A stranger. Hello. Hi. I'm gonna go into your tent. Is there anything? Can I sleep in your sleeping bag? Pretty quiet. Hmm. Except this dude hammering away. Okay, so I can't go over there. Oh, hey, there's another dude. What's up? Greetings, I am Demetrius, the local scientist and father. You're the local father? Thanks for introducing yourself. You're welcome. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Maru? She's interested to meet you. Huh. Well, how can I say no to that? What's that? Okay, my character doesn't know what that is, I don't Don't mind me, I just live out here alone. Okay. I won't mind you, I promise. You know, Linus, maybe we could be friends. You and me. Alright. I'm gonna just walk around your house a little bit. I, I, I'm presuming this is Demetrius's laboratory. Hey, there's a dude. You're not good enough friends with Sebastian to enter his room. Huh. He kind of looks like like my kind of man. A little bit. He, he's... Maybe I'll go after him. I don't know. If he ever comes out of his room, I'll go after him. That's the plan. Unless I find someone else. Hey, it's Miss Morgashi, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce produce from you for a good price. A little agriculture could really inject new life into the, the local economy. Well, thanks for your pitch. Oh, there's the backpack. How much is it? Yeah, definitely can't buy that right now. $2,000? Nah. Only a rich person has that much. Caroline. Hello, you must be Murgashi, the new farmer. I, Caroline. Hi, Caroline, what's up? 
My husband runs the journal store here. And have you met my daughter Abigail? She is the pale one with purple hair. Purple hair? Oh, that's cool. I like purple hair. Bruh. Okay. Nice place you got here. I'm assuming that Pierre's retiring for the night. So I'm just gonna walk out. Yeah, and it's night time. Hmm. Did that do something? Did I go into your house? Oh, hey! Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're gonna get along great. I'm Alex. You seem like a jock. Goodbye. <laughs> hmm. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people. Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Hmm. New people. All of them. According to Mayor Lewis, I'm the only new person in a while. Well, now, what are you talking about? Why, hello, and welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you'd like. Okay, okay, Granny. You're cool. You're cool, you're cool. You're not good enough, friends. Oh, he left his door open, though. I can go in. Oh, he's just doing something he doesn't want me to see, if you know what I mean. No. And I don't know what that does, but it does something. Um, that makes a noise. Yo, what's up, bros? This is the bar. Oh. Hey, kid. My name's Pam. Hey, kid. I'd buy you a drink if I could afford it. Hey. It said that already. If you couldn't afford it, why are you here, bro? Never mind. Well, hello there. I'm Gus. Chef and owner of Star Drop Saloon. No. Sup, Gus? Hi there, Murgashi. I'm glad to see you. You're always welcome here. To spend your money on my stuff. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. I like your enthusiasm. If you're ever looking for something, Something to do in the evening. Stop by the saloon. That's where I work. I can see that. Cool. Can I buy stuff from you? Not like I need to be spending money anyway. I'm kind of under. Hi, or I'm I'm Clint. I'm the town blacksmith. If you ever need to upgrade your tools, I'm your guy. Okay, thanks, Clint. I don't know you. Why are you talking to me? Shane, say. I'm gonna be nice to you, whether you like it or not. Okay. So, there's something here. Uh. Well. Wait a second, what is this? I, I, I guess I'm not supposed to know. Gus has some secrets. He doesn't want people to know about. I see how it is, Gus. I see the games you can be playing. I mean, it's a small town, Gus. Can't keep secrets in a small town. Oh, this... The ocean. Sounds like an ocean. Ooh. Man, I could fall asleep at this. What is that? What do I do with that? I don't know. Can I exit in the face? Oh. My energy did not appreciate that, so I'm not gonna try anymore. Um, huh. Hmm, huh, with 300 pieces of wood, that could be fixed. Okay, cool. What's this? It's locked. Hmm. 300 pieces of wood, you say? Is that a challenge? Sure. And uh, let me guess. Locked. Gone fishing. I'll be back tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Alright, brother. Hmm. Okay. 
Apparently houses open like restaurants here. You can't just barge in in the middle of the night. That's when people are doing all their secretive things that the other townsfolk are not supposed to know about. I have 40 gold, and the god lord above knows I need it. <laughs> Meeting people is more exhausting than farm work, in my personal opinion. Hey, I got mail. You got mail. Hello there, just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Oh, cool. Free stuff. I like free stuff. I like the way you talk. Huh? The way down to the beach. And... A. Alright. Okay, so this is a willy. Huh? What's up, willy? What you got in that pipe there, Willy? Is a weed. Ahoy there, miss. Oh, there's a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet ya. I don't know how to do a sailor voice. Ah. I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of fish. Good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. Interesting. Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the auto fishing stays alive. And hey, maybe you can buy something from the shop once in a while. Okay, cool. I got free junk. I got free junk. You received the bamboo pole. Cool. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Alright. Oh yeah. My shop's back open now. So come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> well, that's what my old pappy used to say anyway. Huh? All right. Thanks, Willie. You're so nice. Boy, there. Is that see young folk moving into the valley? It's not very common these days. Okay, cool. You know what? I'm gonna fish with you. I don't know how to do this, so maybe you could show me the ropes. Hmm. Oh. Click to raise the bar. Release to lower the bar. Keep the bar behind the fish. Behind the fish? Okay. Oh, cool. A sardine. And I can sell this. And the Lord knows I need me some money. Like, my God. $540 is not enough to live on, you guys. I'm just saying. That sucks. Alright. more stuff I can grab, the better, honestly. Because I can sell everything. Oh, cool, a book. Hey, book. You found a lost book the library's collection has expanded. I didn't know there was a library. I didn't see a library. Library. Let's go find the library. Shall we? Another one! I'm practically a pro at this. Lost book, library collection. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna- Ah, that's the library. Okay. Cool. Doesn't seem like you have anything to donate to the museum. Better get out there and do some treasure hunting. What? What museum? I don't freaking know what you're talking about. Miss Penny says I have to read this book before I go out and play. 
Yep, I got you, bro. I'm tutoring Vison and Jazz today. They're a handful, but it's nice to make us different in someone's life. You know what, Penny? I respect that. Hi. Sup, Jazz? This is a book by Marnie. Animals are very sensitive, they like to be pet every day and prefer to eat grass outdoors. Then dry hay. They don't like being outside in the rain, though happy animals produce higher quality products. A book by Marnie. That wasn't much of a book. Okay. Book missing there. Tips on farming. Fertilizer improves crops. Fruit trees take the whole whole season to grow. Huh. Crops will die as soon as the season ends. Unless they grow in multiple seasons. Some crops like kale and wheat need to be harvested with the scythe. But... Alright, good to know. I, I don't know this, honestly. So it's good to know that I can find this information here. On foraging. Local woods and mountains are great places to find wild produce. Products. A good forager will clear out any weeds, stumps, or stones from these areas, so the wild produce products has plenty of space to grow. Expert foragers know how to be know the secret to cultivating wild foods. So that it can be grown on the farm. Isn't that amazing? Yes, it is. So, um, guessing this is a museum, but there's nothing in the museum. And I guess I'm supposed to be collecting things for the museum? But, uh, huh. Can I go around and talk to this dude? No? Okay, well. Apparently I didn't know I was supposed to be collecting this stuff for a museum, but I'm supposed to be collecting this stuff for a museum. Great. Hey, it's Clint. I met him yesterday. I'll need to talk to him again to exude my energy, you know? Huh. all the way up here. Oh my god. It's Joja Mark. Let's go trash them. <laughs> I don't work here anymore. Screw you all. <laughs> Welcome to Joja Mark. How are you doing today? I don't believe we met a Morse Joja customer satisfaction representative. I used to work for you, Morse. When you decide you want to become a JoJo member, I already did that. Didn't like it. That's why I moved away from you. I'll be delighted to help your transition to a joyous experience. Cool, thanks. Goodbye. I don't like you. Who are you? You did not look good. Hey, it's Pam. Hey, don't you be stupid around that trailer when I'm out. Got it? What? Well, Jesus. Sorry, but I gotta be cautious with strangers. Jeez, man. I, I promise I'm not gonna... Fresh and cheap, seven fifty. I beg I I don't think so. Seven fifty? For whatever those things are? I don't think so. Shan's hard work, he doesn't seem interested in talking. He never seemed that way to me. Oh well. Huh. Oh, hey, there's a person! What's up? Oh, that's right, I heard there's a new- Oh, that's right, I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. Oh, she's pretty. It's kind of a shame, really. I always enjoy throwing those over fields by myself. Huh. Are you a loner like me? Maybe we should- I can walk through her. Maybe we should, uh, get together. You and me. And that takes energy, and we're going to sleep now. Well, good.
Oh, cool. I leveled up in fishing and foraging. Oh, man. I didn't know it would... Maybe it's... Man, that, that was easy. And I got 85 gold. Eh, that's almost 90 gold, which I was originally planning to get with my completion of the thing, you know, Bob. The little thing, you know what I'm talking about. Oh, cool, it's raining. Does that mean I don't have to water my crops? Uh, hi there. Good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking the rocks, some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. Yep. I mean, I found copper ore out of a treasure chest, but that's about it. I didn't break any rocks open to find it. If you want to get the most out of your ores, you find you'll need a furnace. Are you going to give me one? Just so happens I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Oh, thanks, Clint. I need blueprints. Learn how to craft a furnace. Cool. First allows you to smelt metal bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. Cool. When you smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Thanks, Clint. You didn't have to come out here in the rain to tell me all that. But you did. Advertise. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's general store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Dang. Well, I saw how quote-unquote affordable that was, and sadly, Pierre, I cannot afford this upgrade of yours yet. So, that's a no, but maybe another day. Cool, Georgia Cola. Just exactly what I want. These people must really hate Georgia Cola if they keep throwing it in the river. Huh? I wonder if they purposely buy just packages of Georgia Cola to just toss in the river just to spite them. Huh? But then that would be contributing to their business just by buying Because they don't care what you do with their product after you buy it. They only care about the money. You know? How did all these get down here? Damn, I got another one. There must be a fool pack down there. A six pack. I just got two of them. Oh my god. Maybe I need to move to a new area? If I get one more Georgia Cola, I'm out of here. Oh, nope, it's not Georgia Cola, it's alive. Who do I want to give a daffodil to? A pretty, pretty daffodil. Should go to a pretty, pretty lady. Not Pam. Evelyn. Oh my, it looks wonderful. That's very kind of you. I saw the most beautiful family of butterflies setting themselves in the town garden yesterday. Oh, Evelyn, that's beautiful. Thank you, Evelyn, for that wonderful story. Hey, what's up? Looks like a good day to play catch, huh? If you weren't a girl, I'd ask you to play catch. I want to play catch with you. 
Really? I guess I underestimate you. Yes, you did. My arm's a little sore, but maybe next time. What was that? Should I be concerned? Ah, it's probably just my imagination. Awesome. And I got 800 gold. Oh, yes. That's the best thing I have heard all- Yep, hello. Definitely. Oh my, it looks wonderful. It's very kind of you. Thank you. I'll be baking cookies today. I like to make the flower shape. I like to make flower shapes in the spring. Cool. Maybe I'll tell you my recipe one of these days. I'd love to know your recipe. Because I freaking love cookies. I don't know what the gift giving does. I didn't get a heart for it. No. Can't talk right now, miss. My favorite program is on. Okay. Goodbye, George. There's the air is starting to warm up. I'm feeling pumped. You feel pumped, man. You go out there, be excited. Oh, hey! New person. No, this isn't. We're very lucky to have a library in such a small town. Yes, we are. When you're lost in the book, it's really easy to forget the realities of your life. Maybe that's why I like reading so much. Oh, Penny. Sorry, I got carried away there. It's okay, Penny. Oh my goodness, she is so adorable. I might try to go after her, to be honest. I know I said I was going to go <laughs> Okay, for any of you who have watched my Sim videos, knows I'm going to go after everyone I can. Let's go into your house, son. Oh, there's a dude. He plays the guitar, bro. I can love a music man. Oh! You aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Thanks. It's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when someone new moves in. Having a farmer around could change things. I hope so. I mean... Oh, hey, Jazz. That's Jazz, I think. Howdy. Howdy. Uh, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. Hello, Marnie. Hey, you wrote a book, didn't you? I sell livestock and animal care products at my ranch. You should swing by sometime. Okay. I mean, I'm here already, so... Hmm? I... Mm -hmm. I lied. I made 40 gold. That's good for my history. <laughs> Day. Anything interesting? Nope. Hmm. Oh, I got mail. Oh, yes. I got some new items in stock a deluxe fishing pole and some bait that you can attach to it. You can use bait to make fish bite faster. Hope to see you soon, Willie. Oh, there's some more mail. To our valid Joja Mark customers. Our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal. Pursuant to in it, I, I'm okay. Responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority, and I don't believe you that for some reason. For some reason, I don't believe that at all. I'm we apologize for any inconvenience. This accident may have caused, as also we value your continued support and patronage. Morris, Joja Customer Satisfaction Representative. That harvest these? Because that, and what's on the other side? Oh, hey. I walked right into this. Hello, Morgashi. You see this cat here? I mean, I'm not blind, so yeah. I found it sitting outside the entrance to your farm. I think it's a stray, poor little thing. I think it likes this place. Hey, um...
Yes, I will adopt this cat. There you go. Well, little Hobbs, you be a good kid. This isn't gonna cut it. It's getting really annoying, huh? Oh, another cutscene. Wonderful, huh? Huh. Oh, hi there. Stop, man. How's it going? What an eyesore. I don't know, it looks cool and rustic, as you put it. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, or what's left of it, anyway. Cool. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Now just look at it, it's shameful. These days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage in the community. Oh. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Joja Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Pelican Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get and attach to relics of the past. So, ah, well. If anyone else buys a Joja Co. membership, I'm gonna go ahead and sell it. Hmm. Maybe I could buy it. Ah. <sighs> Here, let's go inside. Okay. I love exploring abandoned old places with men I barely know. Always fun. Always exciting. You never know what's going to happen. Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. How could they? It was locked! This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. What is that? What is that? What? He didn't say anything. What's the matter? Are you ill? Yes. I'm hallucinating. Get me to a doctor immediately. You saw something. Hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place was full of rats. That's not a rat. You're worrying me, Murgashi. I'm worrying myself right now. Look, I think I'm going to head home. I need some lunch. That's what you say to a crazy person. Hey, I'll keep this place unlocked from now on. Maybe if you help catch the rat. Maybe you can help catch the rat if you have some extra time. Okay. Strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. My, what is this old place? Huh? Oh my god, what is that? Okay, I, I don't know what that does. I cannot read. Hey, it's the dude. Please don't destroy my tent. I wouldn't that it happened before. Oh man, I, I'm sorry. I don't want gifts. Yes, so nice. You know what? I'm going to be your friend, Linus. You seem like a cool dude. Roughing out here. Homeless but doesn't want to admit it. It's okay. People live in denial, Linus. It's okay. I'll be your friend. Dang. That dude looks like a adventurer or pirate or something. I mean, the eye patch, obviously. The pirate. Yeah, okay. Hmm. What's up, bro? How's it going? Is, did this face just get redder? I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Decades? So there's probably good ore down there. But the dark place, undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. What else is there, Marlin? Here, take this. You might need it. Aw, oh, cool sword. I've always wanted to have a sword of my own. 
got a rust sealed sword. Name's Marlin, by the way. I'm run the adventurer skill right outside. I'll keep my eye on you. Prove yourself. And I might think about making you a member. Is that a challenge, Marlin? Because I accept them. Cool. Sword. Freaking sword. Awesome. I would love to learn how to use a, a sword in real life. Hold on, let me. Ah! No, no. I said no. Stop it. Bad. Bad slime. Uh, I guess I can always. Hold on. I'm gonna kill this dude. So. Well, I can I have. I just want to keep going down, man. This is gonna get addictive. I. I really need to go. What is that? Hold on. I don't need the wood. I, I can get rid of the wood for this. Whatever it is. Uh. There we go. Because that looks important as well. I like this music. It's very pleasant. For going down and fighting monsters in the cave. I only got two Steve's, but it might be worth it. Yes. Oh, hey! Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town. Oh. Huh. Yeah. Exactly. You summed it up right there. Out of all the places. Pelican now. Friday night, the saloon ought to be packing. I haven't met you yet. Now the new farmer we've all been expecting. A news arrival has sparked many a conversation. I'm idiot. I live in the little cabin on the beach. The pleasure to meet you. Nice to meet you too, bro. Alright. I got some more people to meet. Including that wizard. Haven't met him yet. Oh, I didn't read him. Telling salty fish all day makes me real thirsty. The weather doesn't really matter to me. I typically stay near my shop year all around. You don't have much of a life, do you? Depressing, huh? Like I just said. Gotcha. I've been working hard all week. I deserve a little relaxation on a Friday night. Don't you have work to do? Okay, that guy, I'm gonna be really nice to. And he's gonna be really sad about being mean to me right now. Later. So, it's the first night in the old cottage. Good evening, Morgashi. I'm glad to see you relaxing at the saloon. It's good for you to take a break now and then. Your grandfather always worked himself too hard. I'll have an extra beer in his honor tonight. I wasn't trying to talk to you again, but thanks for honoring my grandfather. Mario doesn't seem to notice that you're there. Okay. Bye, Marnie. I'll have an extra beer in this honor tonight, he says as he walks out the door with Marnie. Do those two have a thing going? That's the only thing I've been complaining about the whole entire time. My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community, sir. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake and the stone tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. Quote, unquote. M. Rasmodius Wizard. The wizard is requesting my presence? I feel so honored. I see you have been exploring the old mine. You've got an adventurous spirit that much I can tell. If you slay ten slimes, you'll have in earned your place in my adventurer's guild. Be careful, Marvel. Dude, I already did that, but thanks. Dang, I got a lot of metal today. Robin here. I know there's a lot of stones scattered around your farm. If you have a surplus, you might consider having me build a well for you. 
boss can place all over your farm and serve as a convenient places to refill your watering can. Just swing by my shop with 75 souls and 1,000 gold when you're ready for it, Robin. Thanks, Robin. I appreciate your offer to for me to give my money to you, but I will not be doing that at the moment. A Meet the Wizard Initiation. Oh. Sounds like I'm going into a cult now. Maybe I should reconsider. Um, oh, hey! Wizard was- Bro? You requested me. Ah, uh, come in. Hey, man. How's it going? I am Rasmodius, Seeker of the Arcane Truth. Midair, yeah, between physical and ethereal. I like this music. It's so mysterious. Master of the seven elementals. Keeper of the sacred ch Ah, you get the point! <laughs> and you, Mogesh, the one who's a robber of long foreseen. Oh, really? You knew I was not uh, gonna be in town? Here. I'd like to show you something. Behold! Hey, it's the guy I was hallucinating. What are you doing to him? Oh, he's so cute, though. You've seen one before, haven't you? He sounds so cute. They call themselves Jindimos. Mysterious spirits. These ones, for some reason, they refuse to speak with me. Maybe because you're holding him like that? I'm not sure why they've moved to the community center, but you have no reason to fear them. Thank you. Hmm, you found a golden scroll written with unknown language. Most interesting, huh? Stay here, I'm going to see for myself. I'll return shortly. Well, dang. I wish I could do that. That'd make, make traveling a lot easier. I found the note. Hmm. The language is obscure, but I was able to decipher it. Oh, thanks, because I wasn't going to spend my time doing that. We, the Jamil, are happy to aid you. In return, we will ask for gifts of the valley. If you are one with the force, then you will see the true nature of the scroll. Hmm. Hmm. One with the force. What do they need? No. Well, gee, I don't know. Sniff, sniff. Aha! Come here. Okay. I'll, I'll definitely come to you, man. I'm pretty chill. My cauldron is bubbling with ingredients from the forest. Baby fern, moss grub, caramel top toadstool. Can you smell it? Are you trying to get me addicted to something? Here, drink up. Let me, the ascent, essence of your forest permeate your body. Um, uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I, see, I told you. Oh my god, if I thought I was hallucinating at one part, now I'm hallucinating. What the? This guy just got me addicted to shrooms. How dare he? I don't appreciate this. Why does it just happen? You've gained the power of forest magic. Now you can decipher the true meaning of the Junimo scrolls. Well, that just happened. 
Jesus. You could have warned me. Okay. Can I read this? Prosper. Oh! I have prepared for this moment. So I'll be back. You know, right now would be a really good time to buy that backpack. You know, you know what? I have just enough to do it. And I think it will be a good investment for my future. Awesome. Huh? And I get sleep. Perfect. That's exactly what I need it. I see now. Whoa. Whoa. Coolie. Yeah. I haven't encountered any crows yet. Alright, and with that, I'm going to be closing out, you guys. Thank you very much for watching, and have a wonderful day.